Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make creamy roast in the crock pot. It's going to be slow cooked all day. They're going to come back for more until there's just nothing left. I'm telling y'all, you are ready for this one? Come on down. First thing we're going to do is sear our chuck roast. I am using a two pound chuck roast. It's got a nice marbling to it, a nice little layer in the middle. It'll give it some flavor and render out. You're going to want a large skillet. We're going to put it over medium-high heat. And we're going to add some oil to it. Cover the bottom of your skillet. We want to get that nice and hot. Now while that's heating up, let's go ahead and start seasoning our roast and we want to do that on all sides. So we're definitely going to take some salt. And just go over the top with it. Season generously. Some black pepper. Right over the top. And then we've got garlic powder. Get a nice flavor. And some onion powder. Pile the onion on. <laughs> when your oil starts shimmering and moving away from the middle of the pan, it's hot. So what I'm going to do is take my roast. We're going to flip it upside down into the pan. You want that seasoning side down. Ah, oh, you hear that? All right, let's go ahead and season this side before we need to flip it over. Salt. Black pepper. Garlic powder. Too bad you're going to wake up your whole house and then they can't have this until later on. <laughs> yeah, they're going to come down here going, where is it? And we got some onion powder. Generally takes about four to five minutes on the bottom side to get nice and crusty and golden brown. Just take a peek at it. Make sure you're not burning it. Oh yeah, let's flip this over. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Look at that crust. Oh, you see that? Yeah, it's already moving around. What I'm going to do now, get the sides. So just pick it up carefully. Just stand it on its sides for just a minute. We lock in all the delicious flavors on all sides. And we'll go this side. All right, let's turn this off. We're going to place this into our crock pot. I'm going to spray the inside of my six quart crock pot. That'll keep stuff from sticking. All right, in it goes. Pretty nice looking roast there. Next thing we're going to do is add some vegetables. It gives it some flavor, makes it a full meal. So I've got a yellow onion, some celery, carrots, and then I found a red onion partial in my refrigerator. So I'm going to go ahead and just add that also. Let it cook down. Make sure you chop these into big pieces because it's going to low and slow all day. And you don't want to lose your vegetables. <laughs> you don't want them melting away. All right, I'm going to start with the yellow onion. As I'm chopping these, I'm going to add those to my skillet. Because it's got some delicious flavor in there from the roast. And then we'll just saute these down just for a minute. Now my burner is off right now. So we'll turn it back on once we get the vegetables going. Now I'm not doing potatoes for this roast because 
we're going to be serving it up with egg noodles. But if you want to add potatoes, you can certainly add potatoes. That's good for the onion. And then I got my red onion. Now I've already cleaned off my celery. I'm just going to take off the end here. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and peel my carrots and get that done. All right, I think I'm going to do three carrots. These are pretty big. I've just got my pan back on. I'm just going to add a little bit more oil to it. We want to add some brownness to these vegetables. Yeah, we're not cooking these vegetables. We're just going to give them a nice little char brownness to the vegetables. It'll definitely add some flavor. Some salt. Black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. All right, let's start moving these around. All right, let's add all the goodness. One 10 ounce can of cream of mushroom. Now this has roasted garlic in it gonna taste good add that we're just gonna put it right on top so that we can let the bottom side of the vegetables kind of brown up one can of cream of celery remember we're making this a creamy pot roast we're gonna add in one packet of Lipton onion soup mix One tablespoon of minced garlic, half a can of water, and I'm just going to mix it between the two, get some more of that stuff out. All right, let's stir this all together. Doesn't that look good? Told you, you pour this over a roast. There's not going to be any roast left. All right, let's go ahead and give that a try. Make sure our seasonings and flavors are where we want them. And then you might eat the whole bowl. <laughs> mm -mm. That's delicious. All right, we're going to pour that all over our roast. There's our creaminess right here. We're just gonna leave it right on top. It's like a hidden roast. All right, we're gonna place a lid on. If you have half a day, you can cook this on high for five to six hours, or you can cook it all day long on low for about eight hours give or take it depends on the size of the roast that you are preparing and the thickness of it so always come back to it stick a fork in it and see how tender it is you want this so tender that you can break it apart with a fork i mean you just go in all right i'm gonna be back i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna serve this up and give it a try for you i just pulled this out of my crock pot that chuck roast is so so tender. I paired it with some egg noodles and I got the sauce on here. I have extra sauce right here, that golden creamy sauce. Watch this y'all. Oh yeah. Right across the noodles. Some extra across the roast. Y'all want to come up closer? Yeah, you can never have enough of this. That's liquid gold right there. All right, y'all, 
So y'all see how tender that is, just falling apart? I'm going to take a bite for you. I added a carrot to the bite. <laughs> What a hearty, comforting dish. Oh, this will make your day. <laughs> it's worth the wait because the aromas are all through your house. Y'all give me a thumbs up on this one. Let me know if you're making it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Am I rushing it? I think I am because I've got people behind the camera. <laughs> And this won't last. Make great leftover sandwiches also with that roast. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all on the next episode.